Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Thanks for tuning in. I hope the videos are helping you in your designing process. If they are, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. And yeah, definitely leave me a comment. Hit like. Uh, and if you'd like to buy me some coffee, tap on that thanks button be below the video here. Uh, and check out the links below on some jewelry products and stuff, printers and uh, other type casting stuff and uh, stuff like that. Uh, Mastering Matrix Gold, a smooth transition from Matrix, will be this Tuesday, January 23rd at 11 o'clock uh, U.S. Central Time. So please check your time zones. I'll post a link below for registration. Anybody can register, and I say anybody can register for the first event. So if you're making the transition, you're thinking about making the transition, or you've just made the transition, uh, please stop in uh, and uh, check out the, the show. Uh, and uh, what we're going to do is, uh, like I said before, is uh, make the transition smoother and quicker for you. So we're going to go over a lot of things uh, in it. And there are some things that even if you've been using uh, Matrix Gold for a little while, I, I think you might find interesting. I've been really focusing a lot of attention on that the last several weeks. And uh, hopefully it will uh, be beneficial to anybody and everybody that stops in for the, the show. Uh, and it will be held every... Uh, second tuesday of the month i believe uh so uh the first show is open to anybody and the following shows uh every other every tuesday the second the second tuesday of every month will be uh only for uh gym vision academy members uh but the first show is open to anybody please uh go ahead and uh, grab that spot now because they are filling up uh so let's go ahead and get going on this uh today we're going to design a little something parametric. We're not going to go into a lot of it uh, right now. I'm going to break this up into two videos. I, I just really don't have the time uh, and I haven't put up anything in a little while and I wanted to get something up. So uh, let's get going on this thing here and I'll explain what we're doing and why as we go. Uh, so I'm going to grab a ring rail and we'll just accept the, the default there. I'm going to go ahead and select my ring rail, go to gems and uh, select uh, gem on ring rail right here. And this one, what I'll do is I'll yeah, bump it up to maybe a 6.5, one carat or so. Uh, and then I'll take it up just a little bit off my ring rail from what uh, the default is. And then I'll go ahead and hit enter. And since we're in our gyms uh, area, we might as well go ahead and add some uh, gym uh, guides on there. And we're going to offset these just a little, maybe a 0.3. And we're going to go to our front view and we'll drag them up kind of close to the top of the girdle or the table rather. And we'll go ahead and hit enter from here. Now we'll go back to the ring rail and we'll go to our tools and we'll put a profile out here. Uh, and we'll kind of just, you know, really uh, play around with it, find out what, what, what you're looking for as far as the design that you might be going for. I'm just going to place it somewhere right over in here and I'm going to change this profile. And again, you can change it to any kind of profiles you like. Uh, notifications. So let's forget that for right now. Uh, I'm going to change it to this profile here and then I'm going to do a little manipulation. I'm going to drag this into maybe around a 2.2 and drag it up to 2.2 so I kind of have like a square rounded square there. And I'll accept that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to those gym guides. So I'm just going to go ahead and select one of them and go to edit. And I'm going to put six out there. And they're all evenly spaced out uh, and so stuff like that so uh, it doesn't really change any of the things that we changed on it originally it just adds two more and i'm going to select that now from here what i'm going to do is a profile placer and i'm going to pick the top half of this half of this curve here uh, and select on that and now what i'm going to do is go back to uh, again you can change these profiles around to make all different kinds of designs i'm just going to kind of keep it simple for this demonstration here uh, and then after I get it to my uh, profile I want I'm going to go over here to my editor and we're going to edit it I'm going to make sure I check uh, my grid snap on at one millimeter and then I'm going to select the whole profile and just kind of drag it down one right and then okay so now my profile's in the center I'll go to my uh, top view now and I'll need to remember my uh, dimensions that I set it to. So I'm going to take it to maybe uh, 1.5. That's a pretty heavy prong. Uh, and then take it to a 1.3 uh, here. So I have a little cut there for my stone. 
Uh, and then I'm just going to go ahead and select enter. Now here's here's something. If you're just wanting to keep it totally parametric to the round stone, uh, just the round stone, right? We can go to transform. We can go to array. <clears throat> well, we don't want our gem. Sorry. We want our profile here, right? And if I go to the array command and switch to my Z and bump it up one because we have six prongs, uh, it, it'll automatically go ahead and add your prongs right there for you. So it's a real quick way to just get the round ones and then do your sweeping and stuff, right? But if you want to switch it to other stones, say like I wanted to go and uh, add it change this stone parametrically to a uh, oval stone uh, see how it offsets because we we polar arrayed those uh, we didn't snap them to the uh, uh, grid I mean um, offset curves right or offset guides rather so uh, that's going to not really work for us so I'm going to back out of that and we're going to go back to that first one profile here uh, so we, we're back to originally and it doesn't take a lot to go ahead and just go ahead and snap another uh, profile out there right so we'll go back to our profiles we'll go here and we'll select the top one of this one and we'll switch it to uh, that same profile just for this demonstration and I'll double click on it double click on it yeah uh, and then what I need to do is make sure that uh, this green arrow kind of lines up with my uh, guide right there right so I'm going to take this and I'm going to swing it on around so that it lines up with my guide I'm going to go back to my uh, editor again uh, my grid snaps are on at one millimeter so all I'm going to do is take it and drag it down one and then hit OK. And then I will go ahead and make this to a 1.5 like the other one. 1 uh, 1.5 and then I think it was a 1.3. Uh, 1.3 right and then hit enter and then I'll do the same thing to this uh, other side here we only have to do half of it so I'm going to right click and select this one go ahead and switch that one uh, change the profile to the whatever profile you're putting out there go to my editor and I'll go ahead select it and drag it down one because I have my grid snaps on already and everything so that's all set up and then I'll need to go ahead and make this one the same so that air green arrow is kind of going right with my uh, gym guide there right kind of lining up as close as possible uh, so there we go uh, and then again we need to uh, make this the same size as the other so one point unless you don't unless you want to make some different uh, size prongs on there and we'll go to a 1.3 and then we'll hit enter <clears throat> okay so we have this out here and so far everything's parametric uh, now what we can do is go to our surfaces and we can go to uh, profile sweep right and we'll just go to profile sweep from this curve here to this curve here and we will turn off auto seams uh, and we'll give it some shading so we can see it a little bit better uh, and we'll go down here to our front view and kind of Drop this down a little bit. You can manipulate this uh, however you want. I just want to kind of keep it so that it's laying right there on my ring rail, right? And then go ahead and hit enter uh, once you get it to where you want. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and right click it again and click this profile and this profile right here. And again, we don't want the auto seams on there. Uh, we'll just go ahead and drag this one down and you can manipulate this one, uh, you know, however you want as well. Uh, we just want to kind of line it up with our rail again there. All right. And we're going to go ahead and hit enter here. And we'll right click one more time with this profile here and that profile again. And again, we'll turn off auto scene, but this one we'll have to adjust anyway. Uh, so we'll grab it here and just kind of swing it around. It looks like over here. Uh, and then we can do any kind of manipulation we want. Say we want this one maybe in a little bit and we can drag that down a little bit. I mean, however you want to set it up. So we'll do uh, we'll do something like this here and we'll just go ahead and hit enter right okay so we have the three out here uh, what we want to do now is go ahead and might as well 
finish capping those off right so we'll go to uh i think it's tools rather and we'll go to profile cap right here and it is parametric so we'll take that and we'll select this and we'll bump that up to maybe a uh, point a uh, negative point or four and i'll go ahead and accept that i'll right click and we'll do this one same distance of point four and right click or enter and then i'll right click again and hit this one and take that one up to a point four right so we have those three out there now we might as well go ahead and join them together so i'll hit join and then this one and this one hit enter enter and then check it okay right click right click uh this one and this one hit enter enter and right click this one and this one and hit enter and enter so we have that all out there now what we can do is we can take these three and we can rotate them, copy yes, go from F4, hold down shift so we go straight line and then hold down shift, so swing them over to the other side and then right click to terminate that command. Uh, and we have now all these out here. So we have a nice little uh, offset uh, ring here, right? Uh, now, what I want to do, you can just sweep that around if you wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and select this uh, rail and go ahead and get another profile. I'm going to hold down Shift and drag it to the bottom here. And I'll just go ahead and keep this one just for playing around. <laughs> I'll take out the 4.5 and take it to 2.5. And then go ahead and hit Enter and accept that. And we'll go back to our surface and go a surface 1 from this rail here to this profile to this profile to... I didn't select the profile over there, so let's back out of that real quick. Let's go back to this profile here. Select that profile, and I'll go to Profile Editor So in our Dynamic Command, or not Editor, but the Profile Placer in our Dynamic Commands, and I'll just go ahead and Mirror Profile. We'll go ahead and flip it over to the other side and hit Enter. Uh, so we accept that. Now we'll do that uh, Sweep 1, since we have that other profile on the other side. That ring rail, that profile, that profile, and that profile, and then hit Enter. And we don't need any of this right that you could have done a two rail uh, if you wanted to just put that second rail out there and uh, manipulate it around right we have this okay so uh, as of right now i would go ahead and full uh, job bag it right now uh, but <clears throat> as of right now we can go back to our ring rail uh, go ahead and hit enter well, let's complete that command here Let's see here what's going on. Oh, okay. Uh, so I can go back to my ring rail, right? And I can take it from a size 7. I can drop it all the way down to a size 4, let's say. And it's going to blow apart uh, just by the click. But once I hit enter, everything snaps back to uh, its size. So now it's totally parametric for any size that you want to do it in, right? Uh, so I'll go back to size 7 again. It's going to blow apart, hit enter, and it snaps back together again, right? And uh, if I want to change the size of this stone, uh, I am able to do that as well. And then once I hit enter, everything updates, right, uh, uh, accordingly. And I have the little uh, connection right here so it gives nice support right so i can change it to any size that i want just by going back to the uh, dynamic commands and switching the stones out right and then everything snaps in i can also take the stone uh, go to my uh, stones uh, in the dynamic commands that stone right and i can change it from around to let's say an oval and then hit enter and it'll update and again i can change the size on my oval uh to any size that i want and hit enter and it'll update okay uh now let's go back to the gym here and there's several stones that it'll work for uh marquee it'll work for marquee the only thing with the marquee is you might want to check to make sure you did not get a gap like we did you want to fill in that gap and the best way to do that is maybe just select one uh, of these uh, c coming across there where it connects and right now it's joined so we'll need to find the um uh profile sweep on that one which is uh, looks like this one here right and maybe kind of play around with it a little bit so that it moves it closer together 
and then hit enter and now you can see they pretty much join but we you can play around with that to get it this one here i'm gonna keep on moving it back that's it right there maybe all right we'll hit enter and you can check it and now it's touching right so uh the marquee will work uh, there are some stones that will not work because there's just not a center prong on them, like an emerald, right? There's no center prong on an emerald, so it's really not going to update for an emerald. Uh, you'll have to do that one individually, those kind of stones. But the round, uh, oval, marquee, other items like that should be uh, no problem uh, to update. Now... Uh, Later in another video, I just don't have time. I've been planning and uh, preparing for the, the live stream on uh, Tuesday uh, at 11. Uh, and um, I haven't had a lot of time. I don't have a lot of time. So uh, what we're going to do in another video is show how to uh, put stones on this. <clears throat> because right now, if I was to try and, you know, cap all these and then bullion them together and join them and stuff, it, it's probably not going to work because we're sharing a surface a common surface with three different areas right uh, so it'll probably blow apart on you but there's other things that we can do which i'll go into in another video uh to kind of show you how to uh, get around that and, and still keep it uh, pretty much parametric as for the most part but uh, this is kind of a little quick something uh, hopefully it helps and if it does please hit that like button uh, leave me a comment and uh, good designing hope to see you on uh, Tuesday